So a, a feature of color vision that's often not appreciated is that color is as difficult to interpret as language. So we think of color as being in light. Color is not in light. It's absolutely wrong. Color is in the brain. It's, it's a construction just as the meaning of words are constructed. And without the neural processes of the brain, you wouldn't be able to understand colors of objects any more than you can understand a language that you hear but don't know. So what we, we study are the neural processes of the brain and the eye that allow us to understand color in, it, in the natural world. Another aspect of color vision that we often don't appreciate is that the different features of an object, for example, its shape, its color, its motion, its distance from us, those can be represented in different parts of the brain. Yet if one sees a basketball coming towards him, we see that ball as having a particular color and shape and velocity and location. The knitting together, or what I'll call neural gluing, of all those different features so that we perceive a unified object with its color and shape and so on, is a very complex process of the brain that's not well understood. And that's what our research focused on. The technique we use is called uh, binocular rivalry, which pits the signals from the left eye against the signals from the right eye. And the brain has difficulty integrating those signals. When they're different enough from the two eyes, the brain has to somehow resolve what's really out in the world when each eye is not sending signals of the same object. And we take advantage of that uh, feature of the brain by putting a vertically oriented set of stripes that are green in the left eye and a horizontally oriented set of stripes that are red in the right eye, like this. And the brain cannot deal with right eye horizontal and left eye vertical at the same time. You can't mix those together or fuse them in a way that makes any sense. So what the brain does is suppress one or the other. So one sees only vertical or only horizontal. So what we've found in our study is that we could develop a technique that though the horizontal pattern was suppressed, the red color of it actually continued onto the brain. It wasn't suppressed. And it glues itself onto parts of the pattern that's vertical in the other eye. And that proves the idea of neural binding or neural gluing, where the color has to be connected to the object in an active neural process. To us, it, it seems automatic. You know, every basketball has a color. Every shirt has a color. But the brain actually is putting the color and the object shapes together 